All right, welcome. And today we're going to be going uh, over how to uh, linearize a graph in Desmos so that we can get a line of best fit for uh, any type of data that isn't linear to start. So if it doesn't look like a line, how do we make it a line and then get an equation for it? So uh, we first go to the Desmos website. Looks like this. We hit the start graphing button. And we're just going to imagine like I already put in all of my data. I labeled my axes. Uh, if you don't know how to do any of that stuff, it's in a previous video I've posted on just kind of basics to putting in data for Desmos. But for this, we end up with our graph right here. Then as you can see, this is already not a directly proportional graph. This is not a straight line. We kind of got this upward curve to it. And so it kind of looks like, you know, the a half of a parabola or something like that, what we call a quadratic type of graph. So we cannot get an equation for a line of best fit because if we do, if you take a look, that line is really not fitting that data that well. And even if you can't really tell, we can take a look at our R value right here. And remember, a 1.0 would be a perfect linear fit. And we really want to only use data, like we'll accept it as a line if it's above really like 0.98 or something like that. But uh, this 0.93 is pretty low. So that tells me that this is not a good linear fit. So I need to mess with this data a little bit to make it linear. And so to do that, I'm going to look at my sheet of all the different types of graph sheets that uh, you were given in class and I need to figure out which shape this looks like. So uh, really a quadratic graph looks like this second one from the bottom and this is a y versus x squared type of graph. So in order to linearize it I'm actually going to square all of the x values to then make a graph that is virtually uh, basically y versus x squared. So to do that I uh, I'm literally just going to go up to add item and I'm going to add another table in which case I'm literally going to if I need to square all of the x values then I'm going to square all of these x1 values and make a new table with all the squared x values and the same exact y values which looks like this. So here I have my table. My graph is still over here to the right. Uh, now, if you can see now, we have these purple dots are the ones that are the new graph. See how all of these x values are just their ones above squared. And this looks much more linear, which is a good thing. Okay. Uh, the Now, if I want to find a line of best fit, I'm going to do just like we've been practicing. I'm going to go to add an expression. Except now for this new graph, see how it's, it's y2 and x2 because I had a new table. So I'm going to say I need an equation for y2 and x2. And take a look. The r value is already much, much better. It's almost 1.0. So this is a much better linear fit. And now I have my slope. I have my intercept for the graph and because this is the squared x's, uh, last thing I would want to do is go in and just make sure I know that this is time squared and that's seconds squared. Okay, So here I have all of the values I need to make my line of best fit. Now the cool thing with this is this works for any shape of these graphs. Like if whatever your graph looked like, you would follow that exact same process where I would come look, figure out what shape my graph matches, figure out what I need to do to my data, and then make my new graph. That will work for any type of problem that we are trying to linearize. So even though I use this one example, this fits for all the different types of graph shapes.